the interpretation of cultures selected essays by Clifford Gertz preface when an anthropologist when an anthropologist urged on by an intense intensive publisher begins to gather together certain of his essays, essays for a kind of re retrospective exhibition of that of what we has been doing or trying to do over the 15 years period since his release from graduate school he is faced by two treating tearing uh, decisions what to include and how to and and how rev reverently to treat what what is included all of us who write social science journals pieces have a non book in us and more and and more and more of us are publishing them all of us imagine that anything our past self has done our present self could do better and stand ready to pre perpetrate improvements upon our own work and we will never stand for from any editor to try to find the figure in the carpet of one's writings can be as chilling as trying to find to find it on in one's life to weave to weave post facto a figure in this is what I mean I mean to say is an intense tempta temptation I have faced I I have faced up to the fears of fears of these decisions by including in this collection only those of my essays which bear directly and explicitly on the concept of culture the majority of the essays are in fact empirical studies rather than theoretical disquisitions for I grow uncomfortable when I get too far away from the immediacies of social life but but all of them are basically concerned with pushing forward instant case by instant case a particular some will say big peculiar view of what culture what culture is what role it plays in social life and how it ought to it out properly to be studied though, though this the redefinition of culture he has has perhaps been my most persistent interest as an anthropologist I have also worked with some ex extensiveness in the areas of economic development social organization comparative history and cultural ecology concerns which are safe Save tangentially not reflected here. Thus, what is ostensibly a set of essays emerges, so I hope, somewhat as a treat, treat, treatise, treatise, a treatise in cultural theory, as developed through a series of concrete analyses, not just an not just an and them I wrote review of a somewhat vagrant professional career this book has an argument to make the second decision was be, has been a bit trickier to deal with in general I hold to stare the deceases view of published pieces if only because 
if they need very much revision, they probably ought not to be reprinted at all, but should be replaced with a wholly new article getting getting the damn, damn thing right, further con correcting one's mis misjudgments by writing changed views back into earlier work seems to me not holy trick not holy cricket and it obscures the development of ideas that one is supposedly trying to demonstrate in collecting the essays in the first place however for all that there there does seem justification for a certain amount of retrospect retroactive Eddings, editing in cases where the sub where the substance of the argument is not seriously affected but to leave things exactly as original writing in is either to purvey out of date information Information or undercut is a still valid discussion by trying trying it too closely to a particular set of now faced events. There are two places in the essays below where this these considerations seem to be relevant and where I have therefore made some changes 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 in what I originally wrote. The first is in the two essays of part two on culture and biological evolution, where the fossil datings given in the original essays have been definitely superseded. superseded. The, dates have, the dates have in general been moved back in time. And as this change leaves my central argument essentially intact, I see no harm in introducing the newer estimations. There seems little point in continuing to tell the world that Australopithecus Decines go back a million years when archaeologists are now fund finding fossils datable to four or five million years. The second is, in its connections with chapter 10 in part 4, the integrative rev revolution where the flow, if, if that is what I should be called it, of, of new stage history since the article was written in the early 60s makes some of the passages really read oddly. As Nasser is dead, Pakistan has split, Nigeria has been defederalized, and the Communist Party has disappeared from the Indonesia scene. To write as thought these things has not occurred in to give a sense of unreality to, to the discussion. A discussion which, again, I regard as still valid, even it is if it, even if it, if it is Nehru's daughter, rather than Nehru, Nehru who now leads in India and the Republic of Malaya, has expanded it to the Federation of Malaysia. Thus, I have in that essay made two sorts of changes. First, I have changed tenses introduced clauses, added footnote or uh, a footnote or two, and so on, in the body of the text to make it read a little less as, as, thaw, as, as thaw, the last 10 years had not occurred. I have not, however, changed anything of substance so as to improve my argument. Second, I have added to each of this of the case histories and clearly set off from the from them a paragraph summary of relevant developments since developments 
since the essay was written so as to indicate that if anything, those developments demonstrate the continued relevance of the issues the say street in terms of earlier events and again to dissipate Rip Van Winkle effect. Except for minor typographic, typographical and grammatical corrections and changing referen, refer, referencing, referencing style for the sake of cons, consistency. The reminder of the book is essentially unaltered. I have added, however, a new captor, the first one, in an attempt to state my present position as generally as, as I can, as my views of the matter the captor discussed have evolved often 15, ye 15 years they spend there are indeed some differences in the way certain things are, are put in this intro introductory chapter and the way they are put in, in some of the reprinted ones. Some of my early con concerns with functionalism, for example, now are less prominent in my mind. Some of my l later ones with semiotics, for example, are now some more, are, are, are now more so. But the trend of thoughts in the essays, which are arranged in a logical, not a chronological order, seems to me relatively, cons related, relatively consistent. And the introdu introdu introductory chapter represents an effort to state more explicitly and systematically what that trend of thought is, an attempt in fine to say that I have been saying I have eliminated all the ac acknowledgement contained in the original essays those who have helped me uh, know that they have and how very much they have I can only hope that by now they know that I know it too rather than implicate them in my confusions once again let me, instead, let me instead take the rather per, per peculiar tact of thanking, thanking three remarkable academic introductions that have provided me with the kind of settings for scholarly work I am convinced could not be surpassed right now any, anywhere in the world. The Department of Social Relations of Harvard University, where I had, has trained the Department of Anthropology of the University of Chicago, where I thought for a day, I thought for a decade, and the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, where I now work, at a time when the American university system is under attack, as relevant or worse, I can only say that I has been for the redemptive gift. Princeton, 1973, Clifford Gertz.